Just about a week ago, I introduced my Daily Visit with God newsletter uh, with um, this statement. It said, God does not require that we believe or obey, but he does ask that we consider. And to that statement, I have had quite a bit of really negative uh, response, more than I would have expected, I think. Um, you know, negative, especially on YouTube and social media is pretty easy to do. Um, and especially because people don't <clears throat> take the time to investigate and to see it's like a headline. They're just, they're making snap decisions based on headlines rather than actually looking into the material, which is really what I'm trying to do with statements like that is just get people interested so that they will look, so that they will read the article, the the entire daily visit with God, or maybe listen to the podcast or something of that nature. Uh, but one of the, I did have one person who wrote back and said this. He said, um, "Require in relationship to what? Good question. Because the fact of the matter is, you know, God doesn't require that we believe Him. God doesn't require that we obey Him. But, but nobody is saved who does not obey the gospel." and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. So faith is a requirement for salvation. But it's not a requirement that it's not like God is going to force us to do it. He doesn't require us to consider the Word of God, but he does ask us to do that. And this entire statement was based on one daily visit with God which I'd appreciate a person would actually take the time to read. And so I'd like to make this little appeal. Listen, if you see this, catch this, I do have a podcast and a blog called Daily Visit with God. And I would really encourage you to take a look at those and read my daily visits.